Okay, we're back. I've got uh, this next batch already mixed up. You can see it's considerably a little thicker than the other one, so we'll plop this on here, work it down. You want to make sure you get on here before the first one dries out at all, because it doesn't stick. Elder cow doesn't like to stick to itself once it's dry. So, so now we're going to slap on, and you know, we got about an eighth before, we're going to slap on enough to get about a half an inch thick coating here. I have to mix up another batch. And let's we'll see here. Squish this around. But no cigar. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting another batch mixed up here. concerned about on this second coat is the air bubbles because any air bubbles they get trapped in there aren't going to do the green harm. All you're concerned about is the surface of the mold on the inside as far as being actually smooth. So you can run a little thicker here and not have to worry about it. I probably overcompensated a little bit, but you know first you undercompensate, then you overcompensate. Yada, 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 as they say. Yeah, that should be about enough to finish it off. Takes about 16 ounces of water and two of these containers, which are, I don't know what they are. You know, cool whip. And my strawberries. There we go. Let's on some more here. Here we are. This layer is doing is providing some strength to the mold. So how it turns out, it's not necessarily a thing of beauty on the outside, but hopefully it is on the inside. Nope. Get that 
may be fully covered. I've got enough on top here for this jig. Mm, just about. Mm. Slide this across there and even that up. Got a nice flat surface to put the mold on once we get done. It's kind of like a trowel, sort of. Okay. Now, not so important on, on this part, because this is for the cowl for a mold, but if it's for the canopy, and you're going to have to pour something back inside of it for the mold, or for the plug, you need something to support it on this level. So that's where this tape comes in. And this little jig right here, which is set so that I get a good thickness of ball on the ultra cowl. But we just come across here now, scrape this off, slap that all back on the sides, run this up against the tape, gives me the right thickness, kind of the base for the plug, the mold, excuse me. But this will give me a ledge now that I can put a support on when I turn a mold upside down and want to pour it. You want to make sure it's perfectly level, or you're going to have an uneven end on your on your mold, on your plug. Plugs, mold, mold, plugs. Sometimes it's a little confusing. All right. Okay. Yeah, this is starting to firm up real good. Real good. Okay. Some material down in there. Nice smooth ledge all the way around. We've got a good support. Like I said, it's not so important on this one, but. It will be when we do the ones for the, for the, uh, the canopy. When we do the mold for the canopy, then we've got to have this established so that we can set it up to pour it, pull the mold to cow for the final plug for the canopy pull. Okay. Slap a doozy. That's it. She's all done. We'll let this set up. And uh, once it's set up, <clears throat> then we'll run another video and uh, see if it comes off that plug.